Ooh, look at that. Look out SEMA, here we come. Maybe not, but we have been running the proper drive shaft for the past year to make it to SEMA, so. We are back from paternity leave. Feels good to be back out in the garage. I will admit the other day I came down for a trash bag and I ended up spending an hour peeling masking tape and putting some hoses on the engine. But other than that, we have not touched anything on this in the past two weeks. I was able to work things out with the videos so that as of right now, there hasn't been a break in videos. So, but we need to get busy on this because one thing I didn't show you, I was surprised no one noticed it and pointed it out. The cab is missing. The cab is no longer in front of the garage door. Moved it over there, used my dad's dump trailer. We put it on there just so we can move it around. I wanna get this frame outside so that we can wash it off, pressure wash it, paint it. So today we're gonna to spend some time cleaning up these engine mounts a little more, get some spatter off, clean up a few of my goopy welds, and uh, we'll clean up the cross member a little bit. Gotta get these hoses and everything off of the frame because I'm, I'm just gonna respray this whole thing because this chassis saver isn't meant to see sunlight, so. We'll cover it up. We're gonna spray all the bare metal down with primer and the rust spots. I'm gonna hit the rust spots with a wire wheel. So we're gonna get all those ripped off of there. We're gonna get those cleaned up. We're gonna get all the rust cleaned up. And then we gotta go pick up the pressure washer from Paul's Pressure Washers. Oh, it's gonna be a good time. Yeah, we got these cleaned up yesterday. Got a lot of the uh, weld spatter cleaned off. Uh, I sprayed down the whole front diff with uh, oven cleaner last night before bed. So that's been soaking for a while because that was pretty grimy and greasy. So hopefully that'll clean up really nice. We'll get it pushed outside, spray it down with the pressure washer, get it nice and clean. All right, so we got the frame all cleaned up. At least we got all the loose paint and rust and all that crap off of it. See the differential's nice and clean. We're gonna wax and grease remove the whole thing. Make sure it's nice and clean, and then uh, we're gonna start to spray. We're gonna hopefully get a coat of primer on this tonight, and then tomorrow we'll lay down our base coat. Just 
So I'm very much new to the uh, painting things. So this is what we ended up with. I got this all-purpose enamel oil-based primer, and then we got this here truck and tractor and truck and tractor truck and implement oil-based exterior enamel gloss black. Remember, this stuff was like wicked cheap, like seven bucks for this, and like I think it was like ten or something for the paint. So I got hardener and reducer as well. Primer says nothing about adding hardener or reducer. The paint does so I'm not sure let me google it google never lets me down so according to their website you don't add the hardener you add reducer but it's just weird it doesn't say anything about reducer on the back so feeling the burn from my nine to five end of the week but I'm still alive all right, so frame is all primed up. It took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take to get that painted last night, but we got about two coats on it. It's been drying overnight, seems to be fairly dry. We're pretty much breaking every rule on the instruction pack. Don't spray if it's gonna be less than 50 degrees at any point during the drying time. Pretty sure it got below 50 last night. Allow 24 hours before recoating it. We're not gonna do that either. See, so yeah, it seems to be dry enough anyway. I don't see why you need to wait 24 hours. It's people think you got all the time in the world. So we're gonna take uh, Scotch Bright and just kind of scuff it up a little bit, clean off some of the imperfections and whatever, and wax and grease remove it, and then we'll get to spraying the black on it. All right guys, so we got our first coat of paint on. It looks pretty decent. It does say in the instructions not to spray in direct sunlight. So I put on the sunglasses and hat just to protect myself. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Nice and glossy. And hopefully it'll get a little glossier with the second coat. Okay, we're gonna let this dry for a little bit. Uh, we've got some cleanup to do in the shop. Wanna move some things around. Yeah, get it ready, because we're gonna push the truck back in here tonight. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we'll push it back in here once we're done with the second coat. That way it'll have somewhere nice to dry. It's something we all share. Grab a solo cup, get in the mood. Tilt your head back and taste the brew. This is our time. That's my crew and no one to answer to. And this is why we all came here. All right, guys, shop is clean. We got things moved around a little bit. I brought my cooling sack inside, which is something I should have done from the beginning. I did manage to do some damage to that. It sat behind the truck for a while there, and one day I was pushing the truck back, and I thought I moved it far enough, but I slammed the hitch right into the radiator. After that, I smartened up, and I put a piece of wood there so I couldn't smash the radiator anymore. So then the next time I hit it, I knocked the whole thing over. But we do have a little puncture right there in the radiator. And all of my fans are like loose. I broke a couple of these stupid things. Kind of disappointing there. We may just try to fix this because this radiator is not that old. I just replaced it, but we need to get the truck back in here. 
paint's still tacky. We're gonna use the car, push it in. We got two-ish coats of paint on the frame. I wanted to do two coats, didn't buy enough paint. Ended up kind of running out on the second coat. I was able to get, like, get everything, but it's really light and spotty. And like, you can see like right there is a light spot. And over here, there's a light spot. So I picked up some more paint and uh, we're going to scuff this down a little bit and uh, throw another coat on it. And hopefully that'll fix all the spots that are a little light. This is more of a protective coating than it is like for looks, but still, we, you know, you want it to look good too. Look at that. Look out SEMA, here we come. Maybe not, but we have been running the proper drive shaft for the past year to make it to SEMA. So my goodness, this turned out awesome. Definitely glad I took the time to add that third coat because now it's nice and glossy, not dry yet. Just finished spraying a few minutes ago. It's weird because like outside in the sun, you'd think you'd be able to see better, but like pulling it in the garage, I just felt like I had like, I could see way better what I was doing, how much paint was going down. I don't know why that just doesn't make sense in my head, but I don't know, maybe it was too bright yesterday and I just couldn't see. It does say in the instructions not to spray in direct sunlight. So, definitely glad I spent the time and money to go out and put this third coat on. I'm not like a huge gloss guy. I'm more of like a semi or a flat, but the gloss gives you a lot better protection, in my opinion. All right guys, I think that about wraps this video up. Uh, it is the next day, the frame is dry. Still looks awesome. Definitely glad I took the time to do this. Um, I know it seems like I've ragged on the guy that left that comment quite a bit, but uh, the reality is not everyone thinks the same. And when I was doing this project, I didn't even think about painting like the front suspension. My main concern was just getting the frame rust free, getting that painted and protected. And I actually hadn't even thought about that. You know, everyone thinks differently. And uh, so your comments kind of help me, help me out sometime, figure out what I should be doing. You know, things that I wouldn't even think about. So don't forget to leave your comments down below. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I had a guy comment on one of my earlier videos and was like, I think it's so stupid when people paint like the frame and don't do the front differential and the leaf springs and it looks half done and blah, blah, blah. And so I've mentioned that a few times now in different videos. I don't think I had this, Dang it, I missed a spot. That'll be our secret. Um, definitely don't think I had the spray gun set up right. I wasn't getting like a fan. I was getting more of like a circle. I was getting a lot of overspray. I watched a video after the fact on some guy like setting up a gun. And I was like, yeah, I probably didn't do that right. But when it all said and done, it looks pretty decent and uh, we got it done. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you know someone who might enjoy what we're doing here with this truck, don't be afraid to share our channel with them. Let, us, let them know about us. Help us out a little bit, you know? Man, 
has turned out great. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.